Hey you guys, it's JD here and this is going to be my very first video here on this channel. Today we are going to be checking out a Haitian restaurant that does traditional Haitian food and I believe it's called The Dunes Kitchen or something like that. Please do correct me if I'm wrong if you come across this and you've been there and it's pronounced a different way. But um, yeah, it's here in Nassau, where I'm from, Nassau, the Bahamas, if you're curious. I'm gonna go dash out. So please do excuse the noise. It is probably gonna be noisy all day, even when I get back with the food, but probably gonna be dipping in and out between the camera and the phone. The phone probably be easier to use when I'm on the road. So that's why you probably see it like a change in the visual. But we're gonna be heading out and we're going to try something new today. So do not mind me looking rough, okay? This is the phone camera now, but I just got down placing my order. They said it's gonna be about 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna chill in the car until then because I don't have nothing to do today <laughs> besides maybe edit some videos for another channel. But besides that, I don't really have anything to do. So I'll just wait here until they're done. It's kind of like cool outside, a little breezy, so you know, it's good. They're actually really nice. Also, I found out they do not open at 7 a.m. because on their side, it says 7 a.m. to 6 I think or something like that it's actually 11 a.m. to 6 30 I think she said because I had asked I was like do you guys serve breakfast as well found out that they don't because I thought you know if you're gonna be open at 7 a.m. you must be serving breakfast but not the case they're not open at 7 a.m. <laughs> they open at 11 so that makes a lot more sense so I'm just gonna chill here until they're done so clearly with 20 minutes wait time more than likely they're cooking to order I got myself a pork pork griot and also one of their Haitian spaghettis but a small one because I've had quite a bit of pasta this week already so yeah definitely I'm going to chill on the pasta for the rest of the week for sure <laughs> so I'll just wait here and then we're gonna head home and see what everything tastes like All right, you guys, so made it back home. I already got some close-up shots of both of these dishes. But this is the Haitian spaghetti. This comes with a boiled egg. Looks like it has some sausages in there as well. Not sure what type of sausage, but sausage nonetheless. And it smells divine, okay? Just driving home honestly was torture trying to not eat this because I wanted to shoot this video for you guys. So it smells amazing. I'm gonna get to eating. I already see some uh, plantains here. I was curious because I saw them on like Instagram and all that on their page. And I was trying to figure out is this like, uh, you know how they have like tostones? Is this similar? Like, I don't, I don't know. But um, y'all let me know. I'm trying to figure out what I want to start on first. I think I'll do my spaghetti first since it's the, the smaller plate. I sure do love myself a good old boiled egg. <laughs> For those people who don't like boiled eggs, like my boyfriend, <laughs> he's just like, yeah, no. But let's try the spaghetti out and see what's crack a Mmm. Mmm. This is really, really good. It actually reminds me of, strangely enough, it tastes exactly like how the lunch ladies at my elementary school used to cook the spaghetti. I can't describe it. It was like a certain seasoning, but oh my God, it tastes just like that. Ever since I left that school, I could not find someone who cooked it the same. I couldn't figure out what seasoning it was they used to make it taste like that either, but oh this is so good and the peppers too i really love the peppers in it because it just makes it so different and it gives it that aromatic smell as well so it just it does a lot for me right now it's so good even the sausage i don't know what type of sausage this is still but it's good <laughs> i might try to save some though for my uh, little sister to taste she likes to eat my food. She literally would just wait until I go and buy something. Just like, could I have the rest? She's too funny. At the beginning of this video, I'm not gonna lie, I was trying my hardest not to say, I got it, let's try it, let's rate it one through 10. <laughs> But shout out to Alfredo Foodie. He was actually the one that I saw on TikTok. He did a review on this place. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't realize they had a new location because at first they were actually downtown, but now they're in Palmdale. If you guys ever, you know, come to Nassau, if you're not from here anyway, if you just say Palmdale to someone that lives here, they'd be like, oh, 
just know it's, you gotta go when it's not peak traffic time, but it's hardly ever not peak traffic time in that area. So it isn't a very busy area, but I feel like it's worth it. I think I'd probably give this probably like an eight and a half out of 10. And if I had eaten this when I first got it, when it was piping hot, oh, probably a nine. Mm. And now we're gonna try out this griot. I noticed that a lot of people, when they do uh, griot, at least here anyway, I've seen them do a lot of different types of sides. With this one, it looks as though they have the pork, then the um, slaw on the side. It doesn't look like coleslaw, but some type of like a cabbage carrot mix. It doesn't have like the usual like mayo-ish look to it. And then they have a side salad and it comes with this ranch dressing. At least I think it's ranch. Yeah, that's definitely ranch. <laughs> Not a huge fan of ranch, but you know, we got other salad dressings. This is why I kind of wanted to eat at home. Speaking of which, let me get my drink real quick. Okay, I think I'm good now. So now that we've cleansed the palate, sort of, between the spaghetti and the griot, let's get to eating. I'm just gonna go straight for the pork. You can see these are pretty chunky, okay? Pretty chunky. Mmm. Yeah, okay. This smells very well seasoned. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so you could tell they definitely kind of like fried it. It has a crispness to it, but in terms of the flavor, besides the obvious, like, you know, they seasoned it really well. The onions, you could tell they had cooked it with some onions as well, and it's not just sitting on top. It does something to the pork, in my opinion. In terms of these plantains or tostones, whatever it is that you want to call it, I'm very intrigued. I'm a plantain fiend. When I was growing up, I didn't really like plantain like that, but growing up in a Caribbean household, it's kind of hard to avoid plantain. <laughs> You could say you don't want to eat it, but you know, it'll still be cooked. You know, I'm curious. Okay. I think people that probably don't really care for plantain all that much, they would probably enjoy this more because it's not as thick. It's very thin. And also, if you got this right out the fryer, I'm sure it would be amazing. It's cooled down a lot, so it's not as crisp, but it's okay, you know? It's not bad, but it is a little on the drier side. If I'm going to be honest, it is a little bit on the drier side, but it's not bad. It wasn't my favorite plantain, but it's not bad. Now let's try this slaw. It does have kind of like a slightly vinegary scent to it and very zesty. So they might've put like some type of, like a citrus vinegar mix on here. Mmm, okay. You definitely need to eat this with the pork to cut through the fat because it's very, very citrusy. Like, just putting that in my mouth just now, I was like, <laughs> you know? Mmm, okay, yeah. It balances it out. Definitely not mad at that mix. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It has a little bit of a heat kick to it in the back. I felt it just now. As I swallowed, I felt it right here. <laughs> I don't know what they put on this, but woo. it's not terrible. I like it, but yeah, you definitely need to eat it with your meat. In terms of like a lunch setup, I feel like you have everything here that you would need. So I like it. You got your citrus balance for your pork. You got a nice little side salad going on. And then your plantain for a little bit of starchy goodness. I'm probably just gonna chill and eat the rest of this a little bit later because I still have some work to do. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video of me trying Haitian food for the first time. Very, very impressed by this Haitian spaghetti. In terms of the griot, I just realized I didn't score it. So out of 10, I'd probably give it like a seven. Really good, the pork, very well seasoned. I love that they have the citrus element to it to kind of cut through the fattiness of the pork. And then obviously you got your veggies and you know, your plantains. I feel like it's like a well-balanced meal in my opinion. You know, people might say otherwise. So you guys let me know what else you'd like me to try. If you live in the Bahamas and you have a specific place in Nassau specifically that you'd want me to check out, put it down in the comments below. I'd love to do some more of these videos. If you guys watch my YouTube shorts, you'd probably see me cooking from time to time. So I might do a little bit of that in video format as well. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.